and Tony. This is SV Tapaccia. We're building this cruising sailboat that you see behind me. And as you might tell, spring is springing. It's getting quite pleasant. Still frosty in the mornings, but um, getting up to above 10 degrees Celsius midday, the last couple of days at least. And of course, soon the, the clocks will be changing and we'll be able to get a bit of light in the evening as well, which will be a massive help. Anyhow, as you probably know, working on the keel structure, as you may well know. Last week we had a bit of a setback, um, but that's all sorted now. Um, had to replace the, the bronze bolts that I was planning with some steel bolts. And obviously the first job this week was to do exactly that. Well, thoughts are turning towards uh, melting the lead and I needed to make some kind of device to melt it in. Um, something that hopefully, you know, I can melt the lead in and it'll, it'll allow me to pour the lead from that into the, into the keel box. Now, I mentioned a few weeks ago, I think that I had an old uh, gas bottle kicking about. It's one that I, I couldn't take back and get the deposit on. And I thought I'd use that. I thought that'd make a great little pot for, for melting in. So first job is to cut the top off, um, and cutting the top off a, an old gas bottle is not something you do without a bit of thought, I think. But the ones of YouTube come to play, <laughs> I'd look up, there's people cutting the tops off of gas bottles, showing you how to do it. And uh, I did basically just took some, some tips from one of those videos. First job was to take the, the, there's a kind of brass valve in the top of them, take that out. And I stood it upside down with the valve out for about a week. Uh, the gas is, is heavier than air, so upside down it should flow out. Um, and then after that, I filled it with water and proceeded to cut the top off.
Okay. Ninety-five point six kilos. Right. Five point eight. Let's get it off for a break. So here's the kill box in the boat shed. Uh, getting ready to fill it. You know, this is it's getting very, very close. One thing that I thought was very interesting would, would be to weigh it and, and see what it weighed. We did exactly that. As it stands, I think it was 85.8 kilos. Um, I've got four kilos of zincs to put on the outside. I'm also gonna put some steel down the back of the box, some solid square steel to locate it in, in the wood that comes behind it. So I think basically we can assume that the, the empty steel box is 100 kilos which is a help, certainly. And I won't be sorry if we end up being a little, little bit overweight. 
the keel design is for 1280 kilos of, of ballast keel. If we end up being a little bit over that, I won't mind. Um, other builders talk about, you know, 10% over. We'll see. A bit over will be fine. And set up in the shed. I'm thinking of getting the final setting up for the smelting and the pouring and uh, get in there. Yeah, haven't got that far. I've got the 11 steel bolts in place, uh, 10 of which are a 16 millimeter diameter. And the very forward one is a 14 millimeter. Um, got them in place and next job was, was Hazel and I did some measuring and cut them to length and cut the threads on the top. Now, <laughs> it's, it's, it's turned out a bit, a bit silly in a way because you remember that I, when I was planning to use bronze, um, the bronze nuts that are readily available you know, are all UNC threads. So I, I put UNC threads on the, in the nuts that locate in the, in the keel. Um, so I had to cut UNC threads on the bottom of the steel uh, keel bolts to fit those, but it didn't seem, didn't make much sense to, to, to turn down the tops to, to make them fit the UNC sizes. So I put M16s on the top end of the, of the bigger bolts and an M14 on the top end of the, of the smaller one. Anyhow, cut them to length, cut the threads, got them in.
towards Kerry. Yeah. Ready, Kerry? Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Last week, lots and lots of really great comments. Actually, the most comments I've ever had and so many that I actually haven't managed to answer all of them. So if you did leave a comment last week and didn't, didn't get a response from me, my apologies for that. Um, it's great comments and really useful resources, I think. And I hope people, I know people do read the comments. Great resources for people who are building after me. Good stuff, thank you. I shall certainly be pleased when this keel's done. It's been a, a long haul. A keel haul, perhaps you could say. See you next time. Bye.